Good evening, I'm Rena Ninen. President Trump is now on a 9,000-mile, 19-hour flight to Singapore and a historic meeting with the ruler of North Korea. The president took off from Canada today after a tense and truncated summit with the G7 leaders. Mr. Trump arrived late, talked tough with America's biggest trade partners, and left early. Though the seven nations include the U.S., did sign a joint statement agreeing to cut tariffs and fight protectionism. Weijia Zhang has more from Quebec City. I think it's been very, very successful. Minutes before leaving the G7 summit, President Trump said he made progress in the bitter trade battle with U.S. allies. The relationship that I've had with uh, the people, the leaders of these countries has been I would really rate it on a scale of 0 to 10, I would rate it a 10. The elite group of leaders offered friendly public displays and words. And I saw the willingness on all the sides to, to find agreements and have a win-win approach. President Trump was firm on keeping new U.S. tariffs on steel and aluminum, warning other countries not to retaliate as they promised, and suggesting fees on American exports should come down. We're like the piggy bank that everybody's robbing, and that ends. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau reacted quickly and vowed not to back down. Canadians were polite, were reasonable, but we also will not be pushed around. Which may have prompted President Trump to fire off this tweet. We have put up with trade abuse for many decades, and that is long enough. The exchange reverts back to their war of words before the summit. While there, the president's focus was split, with meeting Kim Jong-un a top priority, though he doesn't think it will take long to size Kim up. Uh, how long will it take to figure out whether or not they're serious? I said, maybe in the first minute. You know, the way they say that you know if you're going to like somebody in the first five seconds. Mr. Trump is optimistic Kim will be open to denuclearization. Now the president is on his way to Singapore, set to make history no matter the outcome. By taking off early, President Trump missed key talks on climate change. He views the issue very differently from the rest of the group. But a White House official tells me the decision to go to Singapore early was strictly a practical one. Rena. Ouija in Quebec. Thank you very much, Ouija.